A plan to knock down a longtime riverfront restaurant and build apartments in its place is moving forward, but with a catch. This is a rendering of what the area would look like. Jacksonville's Downtown Investment Authority voted this afternoon to allow a developer to move forward with plans for a $90 million, 335 unit complex on the South Bank next to Friendship Fountain. That would include demolishing the River City Brewing Company. But after pushback, the board said the new development must have a restaurant run by the developer. News for Jack's reporter Vic Michalucci was in that meeting and he joins us live with more on these plans. Vic? And there's still some wiggle room on this proposal. That's River City Brewing Company. It is open for business tonight, but this plan would knock it down. Put an apartment complex there along the river. You'd have an upgraded marina and you'd have a pool for the residents there. But that pushback said that they needed a restaurant. So the new proposal has that built somewhere in this area around these oak trees. You'll notice it's not directly on the riverfront like River City Brewing Company, but the developers say it does show a view of the water and the skyline. People have different opinions about what should happen next at this property where River City Brewing Company has been for decades. Something a little newer, more updated, something where you can still have a nice view of the river, eat, relax, just chill out. Mixed reviews about a plan from a Miami-based developer to build a new apartment complex in the waterfront eatery's place. We already have enough apartments. They're building more apartments right there. they got apartments across the river. There's new apartments right here, new apartments right here. We need more stuff to do around Jackson, but not more places to live. It's in the hands of Jacksonville's Downtown Investment Authority. The city gave a 99-year lease to the brewery's owner in 1998. That means there's 77 years left for the restaurant, which is on city land. But the owner, Maritime, is looking to sell that lease to a developer, the related group, for $10 million. The first plans included a complex, but no public space, no restaurant or retail. Many people said that'd be a loss for Jacksonville residents. You know, the developers make their money by currently in this current market. It's obviously real estate uh, apartments. That, that seems to be the high demand uh, money making project right now. DIA board members discussed a new plan today where the developer compromised, saying they'd build a 5,000 square foot restaurant if the city pays for half of it, capped at $500,000. They also want tax incentives and the storm-torn marina to be upgraded. It's a great idea. It, it's been well um, negotiated. But unlike the current restaurant, this one would not be right on the water, according to the developers. There will be views of the water uh, from that location, but it but it will not be, as Ms. Boyer said, it will not be a riverfront um, restaurant. They also talked about parking and public access to the Riverwalk, both part of this new proposal. The argument was enough for it to pass, seven voting in favor, one abstaining. All right, and tonight there's no exact timeline on when we could see any action on this property. Again, River City Brewing Company is open, but the next step for the developer is to try to get it approved by the Downtown Redevelopment Review Board. That could come in the next couple of months. They would give the conceptual approval and then the final approval if they like what they see. We're live. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. So, Vic, before you go, did the public, did they have a chance to, to weigh in at all in this discussion? They did, Tark. This was a Zoom call, so some of these members of the public talked on that Zoom. Some sent in their letters, and they said, look, this is prime property. We don't want another issue like what we've had across the river at the landing, which you can see right over there on the other side of the St. John's. They also pointed out that this is the only public city marina in this area, this part of downtown. They want that preserved. They want this to be more of a destination and not just necessarily just another apartment complex. All right, Vic Michalucci reporting to us live. Thank you.